a comet from another star system racing past Mars. Two stars exploding in the same moment, and a universe that suddenly feels a lot more connected than we ever imagined. Was this just a cosmic coincidence or something much stranger? Today, we're uncovering the shocking story of 3I Atlas, the interstellar wanderer that arrived in our solar system right as the heavens erupted in fire. And the truth behind this rare alignment may change the way we see the universe forever. To understand why astronomers are so captivated, you first need to know just how rare this moment really is. In all of human history, we've only confirmed three visitors from beyond our solar system. The first was Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped object that sparked endless debate about whether it was a natural fragment or something else entirely. The second was Borisov, a comet that blazed through our skies before vanishing back into the void. And now comes 3I Atlas, the third ever interstellar object spotted by Earth and perhaps the most puzzling one yet. Unlike typical comets born within our own system, 3I Atlas has been traveling for millions of years through the cold, dark expanse between stars. And when it finally revealed itself, it defied expectations immediately. Observations in mid-September revealed something shocking. Its tail wasn't behaving the way a comet's tail should. Professional telescopes recorded an anti-sunward tail pointing toward the sun, while amateur astronomers saw a tail pointing away from it, the exact opposite. How could the same object display such contradictory behavior at the very same time? This wasn't a minor quirk. It hinted at forces or compositions scientists barely understand, as if Atlas carried secrets from its home star system that refused to follow the rules of ours. But before astronomers could solve the mystery of this bizarre cosmic traveler, the universe was about to deliver another surprise, one that made Atlas's timing even harder to ignore. Just as astronomers were grappling with Atlas's strange behavior, the sky itself erupted in a spectacle no one saw coming. On September 23rd, not one but two stars detonated in violent outbursts known as novas, sudden explosions that can make a star blaze thousands of times brighter almost overnight. The first, V7994 Sagittarii, lit up with incredible intensity. But the second, V1935 Centuri, was the real showstopper. Discovered by astrophysicist Dr. John Seach, it brightened from a faint magnitude of 10.2 to a stunning 5.8, suddenly visible to the naked eye in the southern hemisphere. To put that into perspective, each single step in magnitude means a star grows about two and a half times brighter. So when Centuri jumped by 4.4 magnitudes, that meant it became more than 40 times brighter in just days. A literal cosmic spotlight turned on without warning. And this wasn't just pretty fireworks. These novas hurled out gamma rays and hard X-rays, the most energetic light in the universe across countless light years, powerful enough to shake detectors here on Earth. A surge of raw energy ripping across the galaxy, and it all happened at the exact same time 3I Atlas crossed into Mars' orbit. The timing was uncanny, almost too perfect. Coincidence? Or was the universe trying to tell us something? At first glance, you might think this was just a strange coincidence, a comet streaking by Mars while two distant stars happened to explode. But the universe doesn't always play by our rules of chance. And the closer you look, the harder it is to shake the feeling that something deeper is going on here. You see, 3I Atlas isn't just drifting harmlessly through space. Its coma, the giant halo of gas and dust surrounding its core, is massive, stretching nearly 62,000 miles across, almost eight times the size of Earth. And it isn't just dust and ice, it's plasma, superheated, charged gas that reacts violently to energy. Now combine that with the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles blasting out of the sun, and you've got a recipe for chaos. 
add in high energy gamma rays and x-rays from the novas hitting our solar system at the same moment and suddenly the puzzle feels far more complex could those distant stellar blasts have actually influenced atlas directly pushing it is unlikely the distances are just too great but energy doesn't just vanish gamma rays and x-rays interact with everything in their path they ionize gases, shift plasma dynamics, and potentially alter the delicate balance inside a comet's coma. Maybe not enough to change its orbit, but enough to make it act strange, unpredictable, even contradictory. It sounds like science fiction, but the timing is almost too precise. It's as if the universe itself lined up these explosions and this interstellar traveler to remind us that everything in space is connected from stars light years away to a lonely comet brushing past Mars. And as Atlas continued its bizarre journey, those connections only grew harder to ignore. The deeper astronomers looked, the stranger Atlas became. Most comets follow a script, get closer to the sun, heat up, release gas and dust, grow a tail that points away from the light. Simple, predictable, but Atlas refused to play by those rules. First came the sudden brightening. In a short span of time, Atlas's light output jumped nearly 20-fold. That kind of surge usually means a comet has fractured or shed a huge burst of material. But this wasn't a one-time flare. It happened more than once, almost as if Atlas were pulsing with energy. Its coma expanded into a vast cloud, 62,000 miles across. To put that in perspective, that's eight times wider than Earth. And all of this from a nucleus that's only a fraction of that size. Imagine a pebble creating a storm cloud bigger than a planet. That's how bizarre this object really is. Then came the real head-scratcher, the tails. Observatories using professional telescopes reported a tail pointing toward the sun, something that should be impossible. Meanwhile, amateur astronomers, capturing images at the same time, saw a tail pointing away, exactly as expected. Two different truths existing side by side. Was this a trick of perspective? Two different tails made of two different materials, one dust, one plasma, each reacting differently to solar forces? Or was Atlas revealing something completely new about how interstellar objects behave? The mystery deepened when coronal mass ejections from our own sun slammed into Atlas. These massive blasts of solar plasma carry billions of tons of material at millions of miles per hour. And when they hit Atlas, its already unpredictable coma and tails seem to twist and flicker in ways scientists struggled to explain. This wasn't just a comet. This was a cosmic chameleon rewriting the rules in real time. And the closer it came to Mars, the more dangerous and fascinating its dance became. Then came the moment that truly set astronomers on edge. Atlas didn't just pass through the solar system quietly, it swung dangerously close to Mars. At just 0.2 astronomical units, or about 18.6 million miles, this was a near miss in cosmic terms. That may sound like a safe distance, but in the scale of the solar system, it's a razor-thin margin, especially for an unpredictable interstellar wanderer with a plasma halo larger than Earth. Now here's why this encounter mattered. Mars doesn't have the kind of magnetic shield Earth does. Our planet's magnetic field protects us from the solar wind, from cosmic radiation, from sudden blasts of energy that could otherwise wreak havoc on the surface. Mars, however, is exposed. When Atlas, already buzzing with strange plasma behavior, entered the red planet's neighborhood at the same time novas were flooding space with high-energy radiation, the situation became even more intriguing. It wasn't just Mars facing solar wind and cosmic blasts, it was Mars facing those forces amplified by an alien traveler from another star system. Imagine this, waves of charged particles from the sun colliding with Atlas's massive coma, mixing with plasma while gamma rays from distant stellar explosions sweep across the same region. Scientists began asking, could this interaction create temporary magnetic disturbances around Mars? Could it alter the way its thin atmosphere responds to cosmic weather? 
These aren't small questions. They touch on how fragile planets, even Earth, may be when the universe decides to turn violent. And yet, the real mystery isn't just about Mars. It's about timing. Atlas arriving alongside two novas, all while barshing past a planet with no shield. Too neat. Too perfect. Almost as if the cosmos lined it all up to remind us how little control we really have. So, what do we make of it all? An interstellar traveler from beyond the stars, only the third of its kind ever seen, two novas detonating in the same moment, flooding our skies with energy, and a razor-close brush with Mars, a planet already vulnerable to cosmic forces. Each event extraordinary on its own, but happening together? That's the part that feels impossible to ignore. Was it pure coincidence, the random chaos of a restless universe, or could these alignments hint at something bigger? A hidden residence connecting distant stars, rogue comets, and the fragile worlds caught in between. Maybe the universe isn't just a backdrop of disconnected events, but a vast, living system, one that moves in rhythm, even if we can't yet hear the full song. What Atlas and the Novas remind us is simple. We don't know nearly as much as we think we do. Every rare visitor, every sudden explosion, every cosmic near miss, it all pushes us to question our place in a universe that's far more alive and far more unpredictable than we dare imagine. So now the question is yours. Was this just chance or was the universe trying to tell us something? Let us know what you think in the comments below because the story of Atlas isn't just about astronomy. It's about what it means to be part of a cosmos that never stops surprising us.